New Jersey is an amazing place to live and we have great location close to major cities like Philadelphia and New York City, beautiful beaches, amazing parks and recreation and farming. What's the big problem though? Property taxes. New Jersey has the highest property tax rate in the country. In July 2023, New Jersey embarked on a mission to ease the burden of property taxes for its senior residents. A fresh law was inked promising property tax relief to senior citizens, slashing property taxes for seniors by 50%, up to $6,500 in savings per year. Today, we delve deep into the details. What will this new law look like? Who will it help? And how will this affect the real estate market in New Jersey? And the burning question remains, can these promised property tax cuts ever truly come to fruition? We help people achieve the highest quality of life through buying and selling real estate. If you're looking to buy a home or sell a home in New Jersey, Delaware, or Pennsylvania, my team and I would be honored to help. You can contact us at info at promptagents.com. In the following minutes, we're going to dissect the recent property tax relief legislation for senior citizens in New Jersey called Stay NJ. Our guiding light for this exploration is a comprehensive article from nj.com and nj.gov and we're about to extract the essential takeaways. The recent legislation endorsed by Governor Phil Murphy introduces a series of property tax relief payments meticulously tailored for the senior homeowners. The primary objective here is to alleviate the fiscal stress that property taxes often impose on retirees navigating fixed incomes. The proposed relief could genuinely transform lives for many seniors in New Jersey. According to the article in question, the law introduces a step-by-step -step escalation in property tax relief payments over the upcoming years, with a goal of a 50% tax reduction by 2026. Eligible renters or homeowners must have an income of less than $500,000 and be 65 years old. There is an immediate $250 per year increase in aid through the Anchor Property Tax Relief Program to both senior homeowners and tenants over the next two years while Stay NJ is implemented. Eligible senior tenants will now see their relief boosted by more than 35% to $700 per year, and homeowners will receive $1,250 or $1,750, depending on their income. So let's break down what this will actually look like. For example, the community behind me here, Four Seasons 55 and Over Community in Smithville, New Jersey, average home prices are around $400,000 and taxes around $7,000. For many parts of New Jersey, a similar home could easily be $12,000 or even $13,000 per year in taxes, achieving the maximum benefit of $6,500 off property taxes. So let's say you own the house here, your taxes drop from $7,000 per year to $3,500 per year. This is a significant savings, especially if you add that up over a 10-year period, you'd save $35,000. And if you're able to get that maximum benefit $6,500 per year, that's $65,000 saved in reduced taxes over a 10-year period. Many seniors at retirement age may be considering moving out of state to Florida, South Carolina, or even Delaware. Let's see how that would compare. So let's say, for example, coastal Delaware. A home that would currently be $7,000 in taxes in South Jersey would probably be $2,000 per year in Delaware. With Stay NJ tax relief, now we're only talking about a difference of $1,500 per year in savings if you move to Delaware. And for many New Jersey seniors, they would rather stay in New Jersey and enjoy the quality of life here and stay close to family. So this means more seniors staying in New Jersey and not forced to leave because they can't afford it. Let me give you some more details on how this program will be implemented and then I'll talk about how this could impact the real estate market. In order to address any administrative challenges, a commission will be created and tasked with making recommendations by May of 2024 to implement Stay NJ through a singular program and application in order to cut property taxes in half for eligible seniors. A maximum benefit of $6,500 will be indexed to future increases in property tax bills to ensure this continued goal is met. The relief is expected to be delivered in the form of direct credit on property tax bills in the first quarter of 2026. The six-member commission, including three members appointed by the governor and three members appointed by the legislature, will also be charged with simplifying and aligning the current anchor and senior freeze programs to determine the best way to deliver the property tax cut for senior homeowners while ensuring renters are prioritized as well. The new law has struck a chord of harmony across party lines with representatives from both political spectrums applauding the anticipated positive impact. Yet, as is often the case with legislation, it's the journey from pen to reality that can prove to be a winding road. While the intent behind this legislation is indeed praiseworthy, 
apprehensions abound concerning the sources of funding and the state's capacity to honor these commitments. The allocation of resources and revenue generation mechanisms must be vigilantly managed to guarantee the long-term feasibility of these relief payments. Making these relief payments feasible necessitates a delicate balance between providing vital assistance to seniors while also upholding the state's overall financial health. But during our conversation with seniors across the Garden State, we encountered a mix of hope and skepticism. While many are enthusiastic about the impending relief, others hold reservations about whether it will come to fruition as promised and whether it will do so promptly. So will these anticipated property tax relief payments for seniors in New Jersey eventually see the light of day? The current plan has bipartisan support and I think in general is a welcome and anticipated benefit for seniors in New Jersey. Time will tell if this program will be fully implemented. My take is cautious optimism. Now, how will this impact the New Jersey real estate market? Stay in J when fully implemented in 2026 will be a game changer. I definitely see more seniors staying in New Jersey. Currently, we have a lack of housing inventory. If more seniors are staying and not selling, that will continue to add to that lack of inventory. I also think there will be an increased demand for 55 and over in senior housing. Builders, do you hear me? We need more new homes and 55 and over and senior communities in New Jersey. So if you are a senior in New Jersey, getting close to retirement, consider your options. And staying in New Jersey may be your best quality of life. And now you'll be able to afford it. If you've been thinking about moving to New Jersey, maybe from Pennsylvania or New York, or even moving back to the area from Florida or South Carolina, now is a great time to think about moving to New Jersey before the word gets out about this Stay NJ program and before the program is fully implemented in 2026. So thank you for embarking on this journey with me to explore the prospects of property tax relief for seniors in New Jersey. Stay tuned and subscribe for further updates as I continue to follow the development and implementation of this new law. If you're looking for an affordable new construction 55 and over community in South Jersey, watch this video next.